Uh, here we have a few different packs. We have a. Oh, you fing hell. Hey guys, and welcome back to another beautiful day today in Norway. In this episode, we're going to be looking at lithium ion packs for long range cruising. I have a 4S, a 5S, and a 6S lithium ion pack. Now, we're going to be running a few simple tests that include hovering and looking at what power we're getting at each throttle position, as well as how much amps we're putting out for that power. We're not going to be climbing any huge mountains like I usually do, but that's because I'm only going to be running in 1P configuration, meaning that I'm only going to have one battery at a time so I'm not going to have a ton of current output available and also I'm not going to have a ton of capacity. Uh, these packs are rated to 4200 milliamp hours but conservatively let's just call them 4000 milliamp hour packs okay. okay so here's our setup today uh, this is my 7 inch build which has 2807 1500 kV motors on it. These are designed by Emacs to run on 5S batteries but they do run perfectly fine on 4, 5, and 6S batteries. And we're just gonna go ahead and see how they perform differently. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the test started. Here we go. Okay, and here's our setup. Our 4S battery pack with the GoPro is coming in at 1130 grams. Our 5S is 1215 grams. And our 6S is coming in at 1281 grams. Everything is looking good, so here we go. First thing we're gonna do is just see how much power and how much throttle it takes to hover. So we go ahead and... Looks to be about 31, and I'm using about 12 amps. There we go, it looks like we're hovering around 23%, but you can see that the 5S battery is definitely an improvement. So we're hovering at a 18% throttle, nine, 10 amps. Now we'll go ahead and crank it up to 20 amps. So let's go ahead and crank it up to 30 amps now. Bear in mind the max amp output of these batteries is 45 amps. And so when you're running them in a 1P configuration, they don't have a ton of current to give. Okay, now we're at 40, which is 50% throttle. And we're basically almost at 90 kilometers an hour here at 50% throttle. And the 6S pack definitely feels really nice in comparison definitely to the 4S pack, but even to the 5S pack, I feel like the 6S pack feels a little bit better. Uh, it feels like you have a little bit extra control, uh, kind of push the sticks around a little bit better. Um, and you know you're gonna have that extra power here. I mean, right now I'm just cruising around at 19, 20 amps, right? So go ahead and do a little dive here. And I feel like it's, it's you feel like you can get closer to things because you know that you can punch out if you have to. Yeah, there you have it guys. Really like the 6S packs. I think they give the best feel and obviously they give the best range as well. When you're doing mountain surfing and you're flying close to objects, you really want that extra power. You want to be able to push out and fly over an obstacle or fly under an obstacle or just get out of the way of something. And I think that's really why the 6S pack is going to be so important.
anyway guys, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave them down in the comment section. I'm curious to hear what setups you're running, what you think about these packs, uh, what you think about the tests in general. And until next time guys, stay tuned. See ya.